That's your call. I think I said if you want to, if you want me to fit the amp again, uh, bring it over here. It's your convenience, and uh, I'll let you know what it does for me, and you can take it back. I don't care. I mean, I'm, I'm easy. I want it, man. It's just it's something simple, I'm sure. Over there when the part comes in for the other one. Okay, no problem. Just let me know. Get to the mercury tree and be done with it. Do what? You want me to clean the relay? No, uh, just leave it. Maybe just... get on the air tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll in here and, and we'll see what it does tomorrow night and we'll figure out what to do. Here's what's crazy about it is. Can a relay be intermittent like that? So normally when uh, contactors get carbonized, they, you know, you start to have losses on the con, you, know, you have to burnish the contact. But are they intermittent or are they just totally fail? No, they just get worse and worse and worse and worse. They start arcing. Yeah, it's not, it's not like it's uh, a, you know, like it's, it works fine and it works great, works Works like shit. Works great. It, it, it works over time with the contact. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna put it to. I'm gonna go do something. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. No, me either. I gotta do something here. These people around here don't understand what 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 dinner sounds like. I'll wait for you to cook it. I'm not sure what the hell's going on around here. More bacon. Yeah, more bacon. Yeah, right, Dave. Thank you. Thanks for your little thing you put on there. <laughs> but Jim sure likes bacon. Oh, yeah. He's got no problem with bacon. And the ships, they got piles of bacon to get. <laughs> <laughs> I got two pounds of bacon. Uh, I got two more pounds at, uh, at, uh, at the... Uh, uh, the market over there, West Melbourne Mark, so I'm good. Yeah, the ships, man, they just piled up. Bacon, sausage, patties, links. Downtown Purdue, that's, that's the place. Costco. Costco's a private brand of bacon. That stuff is damn good. Yeah, I, I never had that, but I, uh, I go over to downtown Downtown Purdue has got the, I, I have to say there, they probably got the best bacon in the in the hood. They, they do like yeah, their thick sliced bacon is pretty good. Yeah, it's like good. Again? Do you like center cut the best? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, now I turn the amp back on. I let it cool off and it's working. Hmm. Like Twenty over. Yeah. themselves 
may be carbonized and they are increasing the, the, the resistance is increasing between the contactors. Yeah. Well, I'm hitting them with a little more power now. Still working? Yeah. CQ on 20, and uh, and a guy came back to me, and of course they quit. Thank you, thank you, Metro. <laughs> when you say quit, Mark, you're saying that the watt meter on the on the tuner didn't do the output. Showing power in the front. Yeah, and I was showing the, uh, you know, good plate current and good grid current, but no output. Yeah, that sounds like a relay. Although, yeah, that's going to be relay because there's no way to interpret the power between the relay and the output connector and the tuner. You think I should order one? No, let's just see. Let's, let's work for, with it for another day and see what happens. All right. Yeah, it's hard to get left. They got plenty, it sounds like. They're going to continue selling. You know, <laughs> Somebody should buy a Maritron. There's a market for those amps. Where did you get that? I don't know. Uh, he's gone. He's gone dark. I haven't heard Skip of his age. Yeah, he doesn't answer his email. No. Maybe it's gone rogue with the Chinese. I don't know. Send him an email. Hopefully, he doesn't get sick out by the Chinese. Have you tried to reach him, Dave? It was a little more power, Jeff. It seems to be all right. Uh, okay. What, what kind of what kind of front end? What's the ratio? What what kind of power are you hitting it with, and what are you getting out of it? I'm hitting it with 60 watts, and I'm getting about 600 out. Ooh, okay. They say it's okay to drive it up to 100 watts. I don't know why you would do that. No, you don't need to do that. Want me to go back to lower drive and see if it screws up? Ah, what, you're getting 600 out of it right now? That's impressive. Yeah, right. A little bit of, uh, about 550. That, 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 that thing's working. I mean, what do you want in a 3811? I mean, it ain't bird watch. No, it's not, but... Bird watch, what the hell is that? It's, 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 our, it's routine squared. Everybody, everybody talks about that shit, but when you say roofing squares to somebody, they go, oh? Oh, well, that's real watch, especially when measuring audio equipment. Uh, it's a peak, peak envelope power is uh, PEP, which is 1.414 times RMF. Oh, I'm reading peak watch right now. Okay. On your tuner? Yeah. Okay. And now, uh, just RMS, it's about, about 400. It's working. There we go, peak watch, a little over five. Yeah, you're, you're, you're 1520 over nine here. Okay, now I'm going to turn the drive back to 40 watts. And we'll see what happens. The output dropped by about 75 watts. Yeah, you're working. I'm working. 